I want to talk about your portfolio. Many of you guys have a portfolio and many of you guys do not. And this is an important element to actually building your business, to getting more work, to getting more clients, to drawing people in. I recently shared some of a portfolio of my work on social media and in one post on Facebook, I got three messages from people that are wanting a logo design for me and have me do their branding. Your work speaks for itself. It's gonna showcase your skills. And if you are not getting enough work, it's probably because you're not promoting your portfolio. Back in 2000, we're gonna rewind all the way back to 2006 when I first started my graphic design business as a business. It was called Roseville Printing before it was called California Printing and I actually have that brand still today. We still promote it, we still bring in business through that but it was Roseville Printing and I actually was looking for an office space. And when I was looking for an office space, I had a red binder that I still have today. I wish I had it with me, but I had this red binder that I would take around everywhere. I'd go business to business. And when I was looking for office space, I met up with a landlord and I brought that portfolio with me. And I remember going through that portfolio with him and showing him all my work. And at that time, I'd already put together probably anywhere between 50 and 100 different designs that I had done for nightclubs and bars and small businesses. And I had them all printed out in four by sixes and business card designs. And I had them actually printed out and they were inside of a red binder, just a three ring binder. And I used to show it off to everybody. And it was funny because when I'd walk into businesses, they're like, hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm a graphic designer. I just wanted to show you guys my work. Can I show you what I do? And at first they'd be like, oh, oh. And it was really hard hard because I was so excited for them to tell me no. And so they would actually say, okay, sure. And I would open up my portfolio, right? I have a visual aid, something to show them. And as I was going through my portfolio, they would start to see more and more of the variety of my work and things started to kind of come up from them and they started seeing other ideas and getting inspiration. And as that inspiration started coming up, they would bring in their business partner or they would call their wife or their husband and they would start bringing other people in, their employees and their secretaries and like, hey, we, weren't we just talking about needing to do a mailer? Yeah, we need to do a mailer. So this is something that I wanted to bring up to you. If you do not have a printed portfolio, that's one mistake you, you're making. You also need to have a online portfolio on a social platform, whether that's Behance, whether that's Dribbble, and then you need to have a website portfolio where you actually showcase your work on your website. I wanna encourage you, if you don't have a portfolio, this series that I'm going to do, this is the beginning of a three-part series we're gonna do about portfolios. I wanna encourage you, this is your opportunity. You're gonna be able to dive deep, learn about what it takes to have a beautiful portfolio, or we call a badass portfolio that has some purpose, has a mission behind it. So I want you to join us on this mission because many of you guys do not have a portfolio and you're struggling to get work. And this is one of the biggest reasons why. So with that all being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boysell. I'll see you guys on the next video. And as always, keep looking up.